Good morning. Welcome to Morning Love, your uh, morning dose of love, encouragement, and hope from here at Buckwheat Farms Magic Emporium and Ballroom, where it's our vision to uh, feed ourselves, feed our neighbors, feed our world, and change our world through uh, permaculture, voluntarism, and magic. And uh, so every morning I come here and seek to give you words of encouragement and hope and love because I do indeed love you. Today I want to talk to you about your hopes and dreams. Every one of us has some big idea, some big dream, some something inside of us that just is always there. Uh, but too often we, uh, we don't know what to do with it. And today I want to give you some practical advice on, uh, on how to, to make your dreams come into reality, how to change and bring about and manifest what you truly desire. See, our dreams are kind of like the egg. See, we have a vision, we have a dream, we have an idea, and everything necessary for that idea is in the idea. Just like everything necessary for a chicken. is This is a chicken. An entire chicken is in here. All the feathers, the beak, the little, uh, the, the claws, the, 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 what do you call it? The legs, the feet, uh, the waddle, and even more eggs. They're all in here. Now what's necessary to get it out? First, it, the egg has to be fertilized. Now, unfortunately, currently I have no roosters here at Buckwheat Farms. We're uh, looking at uh, obtaining a few roosters now that we're heading into the spring. I didn't just didn't want any chicks running around in the wintertime when I wasn't uh, prepared to uh, take care of them properly. So now that it's spring, we'll let that happen. So, so what is it that, that uh, fertilizes the egg of your, it's your intent. The moment you say, I'm going forward with this, the egg has been fertilized and it will come forth in one way or another. Now, once the intent has been set, what happens with the egg? The hens nest on it. They turn it. They warm it. They tend to the egg. And that's the way you need to, to your idea, your goal, you need to nurture. You need to tend it, look at it. They turn the egg, they look at it from every angle, they make sure that everything's going okay with it while it's in the incubation process. But at the same time, my hens take care of themselves because you can't fill another's cup unless your cup is full first. So again, you maintain yourself. And then when the idea begins to hatch, and this is where it's vital. Because with chickens, with chicks, it's so easy to see a struggling chick trying to break out of this hard shell and think, I need to help that chick come forth. And your idea is you think, I need to bring some kind of artificial help to, 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 to call these visions, this, this plan forth. And so oftentimes we would look down and we would try to help the chick, you know, remove bits of the shell. And that's killing the chick. And the same with our vision. There's, there's difficulties and, and, and hard things we have to go through with our vision and our goal and our, our intent, our purpose, whatever you want to call it. There's difficulties we have to go through. And those difficulties, though, just like the, 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 the shell and coming out of the shell helps the chick develop <clears throat> muscles and uh, develop strength to survive. So our ideas must come out of their shell must come through the difficulties and too often what happens is we get to the difficulty and we say oh, I'm just gonna go back into my shell but understand this that whatever it is that your idea has come forth it is impossible for it not to happen ideas thoughts our intents our energy and thermodynamics the first law of thermodynamics is the energy cannot be uh, decrease. It cannot end. It's perpetual. Uh, it can decrease in intensity and increase in intensity, but it will always go forth as energy. 
And so are the thoughts. Have you ever had this wonderful idea, expressed it to someone, and then six months later or three months later, in my case, the next week I've had it happen, someone does exactly what it was you were talking about. Well, why is it that they did it and you didn't? They fertilized their egg. They put an intent to it. They nurtured their egg. They took care of their egg. And when it came time to bring, to come forth, they didn't remove the struggles. They learned from every struggle. They acted. What's stopping you from fulfilling your dream, your destiny, your purpose today? You know there's something deep inside of you that you've always desired to do, you've always desired to be. Look at the other, the other uh, messages we've got, the other morning love messages, and, and we we'll talk about how to access uh, your personal understanding of yourself, to love yourself. Today is the day, no day like today. Tomorrow is not promised, yesterday is gone. Today is the only eternity you have. Fill it with your vision, your goal, your dream. Namaste.